So I made this build back in November of last year and absolutely love this build. Still do, but there are some things that I would definitely change. But before I show you guys, drop a like for your girl and subscribe if you are new. So let's get right into the video. Hey, what's going on y'all? It's your girl Kara and as you guys can see, I got my 7-2 glass cleaning finisher build and I decided to bring it back out to see if the build is still actually good. And let's just say it is, but it could be a lot better. These are the attributes of the build currently and don't worry, I got y'all with a new version of the build. Now this build can most definitely finish at the rim, but it has its ups and downs, not gonna lie. I don't know if it's a strength thing or I'm just trash, but finishing with this build can be a blessing and a curse. The 78 three ball is more than enough if you can find the right jump shot and learn how to time it. This is the jump shot I'm currently using. This build is a 76 pass accuracy and I only have it up to 73 and it's passing just fine with that. Defense is where I will do the most change for this build. I will increase the perimeter for acceleration. The 88 block is fine, but I do like the go anchor and I will bring the defensive rebound up to 94 for the Hall of Fame box out beats. So let me show you the revamped version of how I will make it. So for position, it's still center, of course, you're seven foot two. Now for height, seven two still, weight 237 pounds. So the weight, I increase it a lot, like maybe 10 plus. Um, I think my last build was 224. So you can, you know, it's, he's a little heavier. And so he's a little bit slower, but I promise you, you can't feel the difference. And I'll tell you guys the reason why I made him a little bit heavier. Wingspan, seven foot nine. And body shape, I'm going with the fine, but you guys go with whatever you like. You can go with built if you like as well, um, but it's up to you. And this is what I did for the attributes. I got an 85 close shot, a 65 driving layup, a 70 driving dunk, and a 90 standing dunk. That 55 post control is just there. So I did like this because in my last build, y'all saw I was heavy in the finishing, you know, category. But I realized being 7'2", you don't need a high driving layup. You don't need a high driving dunk. I didn't use it as much. I used my close shot and standing dunk the most. So that's why I changed up the finishing attributes a whole lot. But you do get fast twitch, rise up, and masher all on gold. You know, you got that back down punisher on silver. So those were, you know, I wanted that rise up on gold, of course, and a fast twitch. And if you want to throw in that mash, you can. But those are the three main badges that I really want. And of course, you get back down punisher as well, like I said before. So that's the difference with this build and the last build. You get less finishing, but... I feel like the most important on this type of build is just standing down in your close shot. You know, driving layup and the driving dunk aren't that low. So you still will be able to do both of those things fairly well. Now for shooting, you got a 75 mid range, an 81 three point shot and a 75 free throw. Now on the last build, the three ball was a 78, which is more than enough you guys. But I did want the goal catch and shoot on this one. So that's why I put the three point shot up to 81. But you know, you do get the, you got the green machine, you got the blinders, you got the claymore. So the most important badges are claymore, catch and shoot, green machine. If you guys rock with blinders, I prefer dead out with blinders, but I've been rocking the blinders on my current 7-2 build and it's been working just fine for me. Now for playmaking, you got the 76 pass accuracy for that gold break starter for those who like to play in the rec. And you know, that 41 ball handle is just there. Now for defense and rebounding, I have an 82 interiority. I put up my perimeter on this build up to 63 to match the acceleration. Uh, the block is a 93 instead of an 88. Offensive rebound is an 85 and the defensive rebound is a 94 instead of a 93. So we do get the Hall of Fame box out beat. You got the gold anchor. So you want rebound chaser. Pogo stick re works really well for your blocks. A lot of people don't like to put that on, but using that a lot more and it's been working for me. So I have anchor, pogo stick, rebound chaser. The workhorse, of course, box out beats, chase down artists. Those are the best badges for this type of build and the reason I put the strength up to 76 as you guys can see that's why you're a little bit heavier is so we can get that brick wall on silver so if you're that type of baby like to set screens you'll be able to do so with that silver brick wall but for the physicals I got a 60 speed 45 acceleration know about the strength of 76 vertical 75 and the stamina is a 90 so that's why um he's a little bit heavier well this build's a little bit heavier because of that strength I put up but if you guys don't care about brick wall then you can bring your weight down if you want to be skinnier, but I, I wanted some strength on this type of build because you just need it because you're, you're tiny where well, you're, you're smaller and you're not as stocky as some of those, you know, inside bigs that you go up against. You know what I'm saying? So I thought strength was a very important. And again, for the brick wall, it does come in handy when you are playing with people, you know, even playing the solo wreck. So that's what I did right there. So you got 18 finishing, 18 shooting, 11 playmaking and 27 defensive badges on this build. And I did stuff blocks and box out wall. I think those are the two best takeovers for this type of build because again, you don't have super high strength, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like these are two 
are the best ones that you can have but um you do get push sharp take and um so you can put on spot up precision if you like to but i've been rocking the stuff blocks and box all wall and it's been completely fine for me and we do get a different build name it sucks another stretch glass cleaner i believe they just keep popping about it nowhere but i was hoping to get something different but i got another stretch glass cleaner as a build so don't pay attention to the build name just pay attention to the attributes and you'll be all straight so let me show you the badges that i put on the build okay so i would definitely do back down punisher i would do fearless finisher and for right now i'm gonna put this up right here and then i'll come down here you guys can pick and choose what you want to put on if you have extra badge points definitely throw them on here if you want to get all three of those badges at the bottom that you see fast switch master rise up but for me fast switch and rise up are the two most important for me um i don't do a lot of mashing but if you do you just have to add all your badge points because yeah if you want to get up to gold or at least some, you have to add those extra badge points to this category i don't think it's necessary i think you can switch these out and see which ones work best for you but i love gold rise up and i definitely love gold fast switch so i'm gonna leave it just like this i might take off pro touch but i might you know i might leave that on just for the sake of i might do this like this and call it a day now for shooting you definitely need claymore you definitely need green machine and i'm going to do this right here come down here you need catch and shoot for that and then again you have the bronze that eye or if you want to put on blinders instead also guard up you guys it's been working super good too lately so you can try that badge out it's all whatever you want to do i'm gonna put on the blinders and I'm going to put my volume shooter up. And my last one, I'm going to put on clutch shooter because that works really good on bronze um, on the low. Now for playmaking, definitely bailout. Break side, I'm going to core that because I don't use any of the tier three badges. I'm going to put this on like that. And then of course you have all these extras. So you just throw them on whatever you can call it a day. Now for defense, definitely box out beats on Hall of Fame. Put the chase down on silver for right now. This is up to you whether you want to core, rebound, chase, or anchor. Honestly, I think it's easier to core, <laughs> to core anchor but you guys can do whatever you want. I'm gonna do that, put this up like that. Then you have eight left. So you can put on that brick wall like I was talking about if you set a lot of screens. Pogo stick is probably what I'll put on and I'll put this extra one up here on a uh, workhorse or you can put it on interceptor, whatever. But I'm, I will probably add my plus four for my career to this category. And when I do, I would be able to get this at least on bronze if I wanted to, or take this down to silver and put it, you know, this on silver, you know, it's whatever your play style is at the end of the day all right but hey thank you guys so much for watching if you're still here and you enjoyed it make sure you drop a like subscribe if you are new and turn on post notifications so you'll know when i post all these new bangers and also watch these two videos right here and i'm out peace